everyone, thanks for joining us here in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. I'm Molly O'Brien and I'm joined by Natalie McMaster. She is a fiddler and a step dancer and we are lucky to have her here via Skype. Natalie, thanks so much for joining us. Hi, it's great to be included on this little fancy uh, technical adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're, we're so glad to have you with us today, your very first Skype. I know that you've done FaceTime before, but uh, Skype Skyping is fun, so congratulations, we've done it. <laughs> hey, woohoo! Um, so you are playing at the Rhythm and Roots Festival this weekend, and we're really looking forward to it. Um, talk to me just a little bit about your musical career. You are uh, known worldwide for your world-class fiddling. Yeah, we uh, well, we've played Rhythm and Roots uh, maybe three or four times now before. Um, and yes, I've had a career uh, for probably 35 years. I'm 45 now and I started when I was nine and I started performing publicly when I was 10. And that's all I've ever done. Even though I have a teaching degree, I've only ever played fiddle. Um, and so, yeah, it's been uh, decades of record contracts and awards and hosting things and uh, recordings of uh, collaborations with different artists and lots of traveling and even some crazy things like Sesame Street and all sorts of like Order of Canada and all these things that you never would expect to happen uh, over the course of uh, your career when you're a fiddler, you know? So it's been awesome and we're really looking forward to the weekend. Yes, Rhythm Roots is a dandy festival. That has to be pretty neat to be able to do something that you love to do for your whole life and to make an appearance on Sesame Street. Not many people can say that. <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's uh, one of those things you grow up with and you can't imagine ever being part of it. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, one of the people you've collaborated with who probably is a little special. Um, I don't know if maybe he's your favorite person to collaborate with, but probably up there somewhere. Talk to me about performing with your husband. Yes, Danelle Leahy. We got married 15 years ago. We have six children. Our oldest is 11. Our youngest is three. And uh, it's, uh, Danelle grew up very same, similar to my own upbringing, even though I, I'm from Nova Scotia and he's from Ontario, uh, provinces apart up here in Canada. Um, his mom's from Cape Breton, his dad was a fiddler and he grew up very similarly to myself. We met when, uh, when we were, when I was 19 actually, and didn't get married till we were, I was 30, he was 34. But uh, we have quite a history, not just with myself and Danelle, but history going back to our families, our parents, our grandparents and relatives who played music together, you know, so many uh, years ago before we were even thought of, so to speak. So um, collaborating with Danelle, he is an awesome fiddler. He is just incredible. And uh, so I, you know, before we were married, I was always so in awe of him. And I find that now that we are married, I still can go back to that same awe that I felt when I first heard his music, because I heard his music before I heard before I met him. So it's very, it's just a gift. It's just a gift. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely incredible. I know that um, just from reading about your story that um, you've been kind of with each other and part of each other's lives for so long, but I had no idea the, the backstory went back generations. I mean, that must be so incredible to be able to share that with each other and now to be able to pass it along to your children as well. Totally. We at our home here have a picture of my uncle, who's Buddy McMaster, probably the most famous Cape Breton fiddler, uh, and his um, uncle. So my uncle and Janelle's uncle. My uncle was playing fiddle for Janelle's uncle to step dance back in the 50s, I think, 50s or 40s, maybe back in the 40s. And uh, just that, and now you mentioned our children. Yes, our children have uh, carried on this fiddling tradition, step dancing tradition. Um, and of course, we nurture that in them, but it's definitely in their genetics too, you know, it's what they come from. How important is it for you to be able to share these traditions with your children and be able to carry that on? Extremely important, I believe, in culture and tradition like this. 
more now than I ever did. I recognize the value in this day and age um, uh, of something so deeply rooted. Um, I just, it's hard to describe, but I just feel that it really contributes to a person's human nature. Um, just develops more of an appreciation and a love for things eternal, really. Um, and so I am very anxious to to give that to our children as Danella as well. Um, and that doesn't come up with a lot. That, that doesn't come without a lot of work, of course. I mean, teaching your own kids is always a tricky one. <laughs> teaching anybody's kids, but teaching your own kids, it turns a little spin on it. And so uh, we practice here every day, and we, you know, uh, try and keep that ball rolling. The ball, same ball that we were past, you know. I think. That's just absolutely incredible. They're lucky to have two caring parents and two very gifted teachers. Um, I did see them on uh, the Littlest Big Shots just uh, a few months ago. What was that like for you to be able to see them get a little spotlight? <clears throat> yeah, Little Big Shots was quite a cool moment with Steve Harvey, of course. And uh, that, that one came out of the blue because we're just doing our own shows, my husband and I, and then, you know, the kids come on for a number or two, and it's always a shock and surprise. It's not advertised. It's yeah. just a little treat for the crowd, you know? And so then, however, uh, I guess it was through the, all the YouTube postings, which we had nothing to do with people who post stuff. And, yeah, the little bit big shots, uh, people were just attracted to what our kids were doing, and we went down and performed for them. So it went really well. Um, and those sorts of things are, like I was saying about my little Sesame Street cameo and those sorts of things, they're kind of like, it's not the reason that you do what you do, but it's a nice little bonus along the way. It's something exciting and different and really thrilling, you know. It must be such a rewarding moment to be able to share that. I want to talk a little bit about your work. Um, we talked about collaborations with uh, Danelle. Um, you also collaborated with Yo-Yo Ma, and you received a Grammy for work on the album Yo-Yo Ma and Friends, Songs of Joy and Peace. Talk to me just a little bit about what it was like to get that recognition and to work on that album. Yeah, well, I, I certainly don't want to uh, twist the truth. It was definitely Yo-Yo Ma who got the Grammy, but he sent us a, a bottle of Don Perignon uh, as a congratulatory, but uh, there were many artists that collaborated with him on that project, and I being one of them. Uh, we did a tune that um, that I wrote um, called it The Christmas Jig, and I really liked how it fit in with the rest of the record, because there was nothing, it, was, it sounded really unique, but of course it was very Kate Bretney. Um, Yo-Yo did an incredible job of like falling into my zone of style, like it's just a different rhythm and it's a different feel and vibe and everything and he totally uh, got into that and so it made it sound quite authentic so I was really pleased with that yeah and uh, so talented that he is and neat that you were able to work on that in your style of music just being able to blend that it's really a beautiful album as well uh, you are headed down here playing at the Rhythm and Roots Festival this coming weekend what can people expect from you and Danelle? Well, we are uh, always, you know, uh, a lively sound. Um, what he grew up with, what I grew up with, is by nature very um, spirited and lively, upbeat, tempo, you know, and, and danceable and all those sorts of things. So we have an incredible band with us, just an awesome uh, uh, drummer, Mark Kelso, our bassist, Shane Hendrickson, guitar player, Nate Douglas, and piano player, Matt Moore. And there's combinations within that group of very uh, rhythmic, um, traditional sounding accompaniment that really supports the rhythms in the fiddling. But there's also the modern element too, uh, just with some of the tunes we've written that have a little more of a pop feel kind of, a little more of a kind of a modern, I guess, sound combining the, the ancient sounds with the modern sounds. So something, everything in between. We play some slow music too, but it's mostly pretty grooving. Especially at that festival, people are there to get up and move, right? So you want to keep it rolling. And I just love that stage. I love the vibe there. Oh, I'm, well, I'm very excited for you to come down here. And like you said, this will be 
um, would you say your third or fourth time here? You play, you've been here a few times before, so. Yes, I'm bad at remembering how many and when, but we've been there <laughs> times before. Well, we're looking forward to having you here and appreciate your time with us here on Go Local Live today, Natalie McMaster. Uh, thank you again for spending the time with us today in this interview and congratulations uh, for your whole family. And thanks for sharing your story with us today. Look forward to you and have a fun weekend. It should be a good time. Well, yeah, it should be a good time. Thanks so much. Uh, thanks.